whole thing with my microphone off and then I realized it there we go <laughs> so anyways like I was saying my name's Tori and I would consider myself an expert on all things 30a I actually calculated and Matt plug your ears plug your ears Why, what? I went to 30a at least once a month the entire year last year <laughs> Say that part again. What, you've been to 38 more than once a month. At least once a month. Also, I grew up in Panama City, Panama City Beach. That's 45 minutes to an hour away from 38. So I just grew up going there as long as I can remember because that's like where my family would go all the time. If it's that close, you know, you just like hop over for lunch or breakfast or for the day or whatever so I just grew up doing that and it just kind of carried over into my adulthood and then as I've gotten older the past couple years I've been recently just like really obsessed and like I said going at least once a month <laughs> but I can't help it it's like my happy place it's so aesthetic over there and I'm all about a good aesthetic I feel like so calm and like the best version of myself whenever I'm over there because it just like clears my head and whenever I come back I'm just like a better human. It puts things into perspective for me, makes me realize like how lucky I am to just be alive and live the life you know that I live. It makes me feel grateful whenever I'm over there. Anyways, all that to say, I have eaten at every single restaurant over there. I'm pretty sure there might be like one or two small little ones that I haven't eaten at, but pretty sure I've eaten at all the big ones multiple times. And so I'm here to tell you the places that you should eat and drink while you're over there that are like must do. So I'm gonna do it in ascending order from the furthest to the closest. So we're gonna start in Grayton Beach. I always have to go to Black Bear. Black Bear is like such a beautiful special place you know whenever a restaurant opens and like it just feels special and it has the secret sauce and it's like packed out all the time this is black bear they have the most amazing coffee the best tea they have really great matcha black bear is like a bakery as well so they home make all of their breads biscuits pastries all of that stuff is like made from scratch every morning and it is amazing. The decor is super cute. It's like coastal, but modern and still beachy um, without being like, I don't know, too much. It's literally just perfect. Their uh, mimosas are incredible, except for the fact that they're $10. So I only get one of those if I'm gonna splurge, but their avocado toast is out of this world. I get it every single time. Um, I wish I knew all the little things that they put on it so I could recreate it. I have tried, but it's just not as good. And I think a lot of it is because it's homemade on that bread. They also have Black Bear Bar that's right next to it. And I just found out that they have a really, really great happy hour, which is awesome. An amazing selection of wines. All their wines are organic. They don't give you hangovers as much because they don't have like all the sulfates and it's just like the best of the best wine. And they you can't do that. They also have raw oysters now over there, which is really, really cool. I would bring my computer and like do work in there and I could sit there all day and just drink coffee and then it's kind of intimate. You can go with a friend and you know, you sit in there like loungy type furniture, which I'm a huge fan of when places have like loungy type furniture. furniture. But anyway, so that's Black Bear. Definitely recommend, definitely have to go. And then also in Grayton Beach, there is a noodle bar. It's called Nanbu. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's amazing. The decor in there is so cool. It's unlike anything that I've seen in the area or close to the area. It reminds me of like Brooklyn. They have this like huge octopus on the ceiling and it's like yellow and anyway. Guys, this place is so cool. Like, I don't feel cool enough to be here. Their ramen is the best ramen.
ramen that I've ever had in my entire life. This place is amazing, but they also do different dumplings that they make in-house every single day and they change up the flavors and all of that they have good cheap beer they have this like three dollar asian style beer that's really really good and they have popcorn that's like sriracha popcorn and it's amazing too it's a loungy type seating place as well which is my favorite and the vibe in there is awesome and like literally you walk in there and you feel like you're in brooklyn it's super super cool I would definitely check it out and grab their ramen and some of their dumplings and also their pork buns are really really good and then the next place I'm gonna mention is Red Bar Red Bar is near and dear to my heart I've literally been going there since I was three years old which is like as long as I can remember I just have so many special memories there there's no place like it and sadly it burned down R.I.P. Pour some out for Red Bar. I'm just kidding. Red Bar is so freaking good. Uh, it's all red lit in there. It reminds you of like Germany or something or like somewhere like European. There's memorabilia all over the walls and there is chandeliers everywhere. There's jazz bands. There's like, it's romantic and fun and I don't know, it's just the coolest vibe. They rebuilt it, thank goodness, and it's not open yet, but it's open soon. And they use the same exact floor plan as before, and they're trying to recreate it like exactly to a T of how it was, because this place was magical, super magical. They only have like five things on the menu, and how they do it is they walk around with like a chalkboard, and they go up to your table, hold up the chalkboard, and you like pick which one you want. It's amazing and so good. But highly recommend it's like you have to go there it's affordable the food portion sizes are huge you can easily split any one of those meals with someone it's great something I put on here but I wouldn't necessarily say it's like one of my favorite places that you have to go to but I do enjoy it and I left off a lot of these places but I'm just gonna mention it because if you want to like just grab a beer at a bar and have a really relaxed laid-back style then Chiringo is really good for that. I don't know, it's just like really relaxed. You can grab a drink. The food is good if you wanna eat there, but you know, if you're coming off the beach, I would recommend going there too. But it's not one of my like all-time favorite places that I like have to go to when I'm in town, but I do enjoy it on occasion. Okay, and Seaside. Seaside is the first beach town in 30A that I think really took off. It's really like family friendly oriented vibe and it's really cool. It was where the Truman Show was filmed. It's literally like Pleasantville if Pleasantville was really cool. But as far as food goes, I really only like their like little snacky stuff and like the little tiny places. Their bigger restaurants are not really my favorite. I think they're a little overpriced and not as good as some of the other ones. But um, I do love to go to Raw and Juicy because uh, they are kind of different and they have like really health conscious uh, foods that are really great. The, their acai bowls are amazing. Their smoothies are great. In the summertime they normally have coconuts that you can buy and they'll put some like uh, you know alcohol in the coconuts and you can like walk around with a coconut. It's, so it's fun. Um, but my favorite over there by far is Modica Market, and that is a grocery store, and it's my favorite grocery store in the world. It's the cutest place ever. You can get these 24-ounce um, fresh squeezed mimosas, which I always grab one and walk around and seaside with it. It's amazing. And just walking around that grocery store is really cool, and their food in the grocery store is amazing. They have a deli, and they have all sorts of like little pasta salads. The, their pasta salad is so good. Um, their little sandwiches that you can buy are amazing. So it's really good and it's really fun to like go there, grab a couple of things and just keep them back at your place or you can go there for lunch and sit outside at, at one of the little tables that are outside or you can grab stuff. I'm really irritated because my camera stopped recording and I finished this whole video and it was a lot of talking and Matt is pissing me off. You're pissing me off. Anyways, I'm going to pay attention and make sure that I it's still breathe. recording. <coughs> Be quiet. I just got done talking about my favorite grocery store in the world and Modica Market. Grab some stuff, watch the sunset, yada, yada, yada. I don't even know when it cut off, but go to Modica Market. 
Anyways, um, also I had mentioned Bud and Allie's. I honestly don't think the food is that good at Bud and Allie's. It's okay. Matt, you can't do that. What this episode is sponsored by Cheez Its. No, it's not. Episode sponsored by Cheez Its. No, it's not. What is their phrase? Extra toasty. Mm. Anyways, I'm really irritated, so I'm trying to get through this right now. Bud and Allie's. It's great to watch the sunset at Bud and Allie's and like get a beer there, but I wouldn't really like be like, oh, you have to eat there because you don't, you can pass it up. But definitely it's a great spot if you're in Seaside and want to watch the sunset. Next I will say watercolor. They have a really awesome wine bar. It's called Wine Bar. It's open by, it's owned by Wine World. They have a really great happy hour there as well. And they have another great happy hour at this place called Fish Out of Water. And you can sit out there on the water. It's beautiful. Highly recommend doing that. But also, if you want to just skip something, if you skip those places, it's fine. But they are really great honorable mentions in this. Um, next is Alice, Alice Beach, which is funny because it's spelled like Allie's Beach, um, but it's pronounced Alice Beach, if you didn't know. I hope this is recording. Now I'm paranoid. Yeah, it's recording. Next is Neat, which I love Neat. Neat is beautiful, the way it's like designed in there. Neutrals and then a little tiny pop of red. A little tiny pop of red. The drinks are phenomenal. They change their menu all the time. They do like special events on Tuesdays. They do like wine and song, which is where someone like goes in and plays guitar and you hang out and um, have drinks. They have really good tapas that are really upscale and good. It's cozy, it's intimate, and the design in there with all their light fixtures and everything is really, really special. Next, the Kaliza, which I wish that this would have recorded before it cut off. I was talking about how I think it's the Kaliza pool is like kind of Morocco. Matt, you gotta stop breathing like that. The pool is like Morocco meets Greece. It's like white, big, yeah. it's big white buildings that are beautiful. They're so aesthetic. And so the Kaliza pool is a pool slash restaurant and the restaurant is phenomenal. The pool has an amazing happy hour. It's beautiful. The food's great. I'd highly recommend. Next is George. It is amazing. It kind of reminds me of some place you'd see in like Nantucket. The food is phenomenal. They have great drinks. Um, lunch or dinner is a great spot to go. You can even um, sit outside. Next is Rosemary Beach. And Rosemary Beach is probably my favorite. They have, I think, most of the best restaurants are in Rosemary. In Rosemary Beach, there's Pescado. Pescado is probably my all-time favorite restaurant. Um, I love the food. The drinks are amazing. They change up their menu all the time. They're fresh ingredients. And the most important, most special part of Pescado is the rooftop. The rooftop there is insane. It's beautiful. You see all these white houses with the beautiful blue Gulf Coast ocean and the white sand and you can see the pearl. You can just see it's it's such a pretty view. I can't even describe it to you. Every time I'm there, I'm always like, wow, I don't know how this could be any better. And I always just feel so lucky and grateful for to be there and for my life when I'm there. And, the decor is like coastal, but upscale. It's fun, light and airy. It's beautiful. I cannot say enough about the restaurant. And my favorite bartender, Tatiana, works there. Tell her I said hey, she's the best. So the next I would say is the Pearl. The Pearl to me feels like home. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's like been there the longest. It's super upscale as well. It's Cuban themed. I love to like sit downstairs at the bar. They change their drink menu all the time and each bartender comes up with a different drink on the menu. So I think that that's so cool. It kind of brings, it kind of brings like a sense of camaraderie between them and they all like try their new drinks and all the bartenders are amazing there. Sire, hey, he's my favorite. And I love Zach and Aaron too. They're awesome. Every time I go to 38, I have to go to the Pearl and sit downstairs at the, the at the bar and have a drink and talk to all of them and just the atmosphere is intimate and special. 
and the hotel is breathtaking. Um, upstairs at the Pearl, they also have the Cabana Bar. The Cabana Bar is amazing. There's like cabanas that you can sit in and they're like white and crisp and then there's also fire pits that you can sit by the fire pit um, with your drink and your food and it's super, super awesome. And they have like little bites that you can order and relax. It's really relaxing up there. I could sit up there all day. Um, but the only thing is, is if it even drizzles and they close that bar completely down. But they have a really awesome happy hour up there and there's also a happy hour downstairs. Uh, the upstairs I would recommend getting a Frosé. Their Frosé is really reasonably priced on happy hour and they say it's like a whole bottle of alcohol in one um, cup. Next I would say La Crema. I have dreams about their chocolate fondue. It's kind of a really cool concept restaurant because it's mostly based around desserts. Like they definitely have um, tapas and like meals that you can get there, but their shining star is their dessert. Their chocolate fondue, uh, milk chocolate with a peanut butter swirl is so good. You know, it's fun to like just sit with friends and you know, uh, have some chocolate fondue with all your friends and talk and um, it's romantic and intimate and just such a good time. Next, there's a brand new place. There's a restaurant out there called Old Florida Fish House. Basically, they have, were known for amazing sushi. That sushi chef came to this brand new place. It's called Shaka, and it's a noodle bar, and plus they have sushi. Their ramen is good, but it's not what their thing is. I think their thing is their sushi. Their sushi is amazing out of this world. They even have this roll with bacon in it, but it's amazing, and they have a really awesome happy hour that makes their uh, sushi certain rolls pretty affordable and it's so good probably my favorite sushi place in the world right now and they have sake cocktails that are amazing and they're a uh, special price during happy hour as well so I don't know it's really really great and that's like just outside of Rosemary but it's right in the area so I would highly recommend there I had a wonderful experience the decor in there is super cool uh, it's, the, it's owned by the same people who own Piscato, which I think is kind of cool. But, anyways, last but not least, I would mention Paradise, and they're kind of an honorable mention for me. Not because the food isn't amazing, because it is out of this world, but it's just kind of dark and romantic, but almost like gothic romantic, and it's not necessarily my style of decor, but the restaurant is really special and phenomenal and the food I can't even tell you how good it is I'm like dreaming about the meal that Matt and I had there last time we went but it was so good okay well my battery's about to die since I had to refilm this because it cut off and before it cuts off I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy all the recommendations and thank you for coming to my TED talk on 38 I hope you have lots of fun and get to go out there yourself someday soon and have one for me cheers Mwah.